Hey everybody, it's Linda Morrison from the Mind Body Joy podcast. I am super, super happy here to talk to my friend and my peer, Kathy Feeman. Once again, she is an amazing, amazing, amazing mentor and coach who literally looks after um, mindset and success in terms of you taking yourself forward in these unusual times as a lovely entrepreneur and maybe a business owner that needs to like uh, be like interesting and moving forward. Thank you. Thank you, Kathy, for being here. Oh, thank you, Linda. I really, truly appreciate just this opportunity to spend some time with you and have a chat. Yeah, love it, love it. So we were talking and we're talking about how quickly things are moving. Things are moving quicker than we've ever seen before. So what's amazing about the on, online and entrepreneurial world, it's, it's moving really quick. What I act, what I personally find, and I, I get to talk to thousands and thousands of people in this space, is that they're not moving quite quick enough Can you speak a little bit to that and also to what they need to concentrate on for success in these times that are like moving beneath their feet, perhaps, as we should should say? Yeah, absolutely. And I know that there's been many times in my life and in my career or my experience over this last 22 years, Linda, that there have been times where I've stayed in my comfort zone. I had a great intention of what it was that I wanted to have as an outcome or a desire or, uh, you know, the results that I was hoping for and really wanted to achieve in my life. But there was always something kind of just holding me back. And um, what I found was that I really plateaued in my business and in my life and in actually in actually in some places over some chapters of my life I actually went backwards as well because I was doing all the things I was reading all the books I was going to all the seminars I was listening to all the mentors and the coaches in my life Um, but there are a couple of keys that I was actually missing to actually create um, the outcomes that I was looking Mm -hmm. to achieve Yeah. So a couple of those things um, that I noticed along the way in my own experience is one of them was just navigating the success roadblocks, Um, the limiting beliefs that I had put on myself, the BS stories I'd been telling myself for so many years that were actually holding me back, especially around self-worth. Um, So when I was able to navigate those fears and really step out of that poverty-based thinking or the fear-based thinking into prosperity and faith-based thinking, that was one step that really helped me to do that. Um, But the other thing outside of having a very logical step-by-step plan in front of me that I could follow, we talked about the yellow brick road before, literally having that yellow brick road in front of us. But the, the other thing that was really important to me was to actually execute so it was very easy for me to get started but keeping that focus and finding that that focus that was one of my biggest challenges was actually staying on the horse and riding it all the way to the end until I actually achieved the goal so that was one of my biggest challenges as well yeah incredible so it's uh terrific and amazing and beautiful to have you share your passion, but also have everyone show their passion. But keeping on board with it is a whole other story. And I find that why that's why I'm so in love with coaching and accountability and accountability coaching. Um, I happen to be a coach, a lifetime coach. From the moment I was 16 years of age, I know coaching. I know it inside and out. I'm nearly 50. I know it right? I've got adult, yeah. adult children who are well coached and they are athletes in their own right. And I was married for many years to a very, very, very good teacher and coach. This is what we do. This is what we are. And um, I've got many businesses offline and online in that international and not. We are very well known in that space and that area. What I find really interesting is how quickly at the moment compared to maybe the offline world, you might be able to speak to this, is how quickly people go, this isn't working. So in the offline world, 
people would uh, stick to things for maybe three months, six months and go, it's not working, but I'm honest to God to say that I didn't show up and do the work anyway. And then in the online world, they go, well, I watched your video and it still didn't work. <laughs> Can you speak to that at all? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, to be honest with you, I've worked both online and offline. So having that experience in both of those worlds have presented different challenges in their own right. But the, when we talk about the pillars of success, there are four key pillars and they apply to both offline and online. And it all comes back to what are our beliefs? What are our visions? Um, what are the limiting thoughts that we have that are actually holding us back? Um, and taking that action and also surrendering to whether you call it divine or grace, um, universe, um, and being in alignment with your values as well, because whether we take action or not is really dependent on what it is that's going on in that subconscious mind of ours that a lot of the time we're not aware of that self-sabotaging, that success, um, whether we, we move online or not, I've found. Uh, I don't know about you, but I'm not here for ego. I'm here for to help people. Um, yeah. I think a big part of it is what's what's going on is that, yeah, a lot of people are doing it uh, to fill in their time. Um, so, you, yeah, you need to sit with that. And that's a, that's a big part of actually what's going on with anything. Like uh, you, you are not your vocation, but when you're online, we start to yeah. like mesh this a little bit more. So you need a coach and a trainer and a, a great mentor such as Kathy, such as myself to be able to go get for real. <laughs> like you are not your, you are a great person no matter what you're valuable, no matter what, but are you achieving anything in your actual business? Is it a business? And what have you got going on over there? What's actually happening over there? So why, yeah. are, you, why are you doing that? But not only that, you're not doing it for you right? Yeah. No one's doing it for you. We can get a job doing other stuff, but yeah. we're doing it for others to help the humanity, to help um, entrepreneurship, yeah. to help uh, expansion, explosion, all of the rest of it. Um, there is um, a nemesis happening at the moment. So if we look at what we've actually got going on now, Kathy, tell us a little bit about um, how you've found yourself to to want to help all these people that are actually in um, disarray, shall we say, yeah. at this time, not their own fault, but just at this time in the world. And then yeah. also, also um, how you're able to um, give them something today that will actually work. And then we'll move back into just closing this out because uh, I don't want this to take too long because, as we know, people are extremely busy extremely yeah. important with what they're doing elsewhere yeah. but um, we want to like really respect them for the facts are things are changing they're changing fast they've already changed to be honest so if yeah. you're not on it if you're not on it get on it and get yeah. on it quick. <laughs> yeah I, I couldn't agree with you more Linda and I really love what you said and just coming back to that heart space of you know what is the intention why are we actually here especially as entrepreneurs and um, I found um, having worked, and I'm sure you have as well, having worked with lots of people over the years, which is just such a beautiful space and an honour to work in and to serve and support people along their journey. Um, what I've really found from my, and certainly from my own mess, and I can only speak for myself here, but from the mess that I was in, I, I just found that, um, you know, when we take our eyes off ourselves and when we have a higher purpose of what we really feel like we're called to do, called to do and the, the problems that we're here to solve, not only are you a blessing to other people, but you can't help but spill a few drops of that perfume on yourself along the way as well. And that's that beautiful reciprocal um, thing that we have as spiritual beings where the more we make an impact and serve and support each other, we all get to thrive and we all get to grow and we all get to expand in the beautiful 
limitless abundant universe that we actually live in and be the creator of whatever it is that we really truly desire in our heart of hearts so what I found in my experience Linda is that when we know our values and what I wanted to to share is perhaps a, a resource or a way that you can really find your focus to get into action and to really start moving forward if you're finding yourself sitting still if you know what it is that you're wanting to create or achieve or who it is that you're wanting to serve and support on the in in the in online space it's a bit of a mouthful isn't it you know when we understand what our values are uh, I find when we know what it is that we love to talk about what it is that we love to research what we act on what we kind of do that's in alignment uh, and you think about the things that just put a smile on your face on your face right the things that really light you up on the inside um, what I found is that when we align our goals to our values then we get into massive and imperfect inspired action whereas when we're out of alignment and there's conflict there often it's because our goals are not aligned with our highest values as well and that gives us the motivation and that the intrinsic motivation to actually take those next steps and actually execute um, on what it is that has to happen for for that goal to come into reality beautifully said and I would say it like this is that you just make the main thing the main thing yeah you know, yeah make the main thing the main thing I've got um, I know there's all sorts of ways of like chunking down areas of your life the way that I do it as I have a personal life my kids, family, everybody is like chunked into that. Um, yeah. Very well looked after. And so is my business life. Very well looked after. Yes. And there's very rarely a crossover, but I always care for both in the secret, secret amount. Uh, in the personal life, it comes my self-care as well. So I make sure that that's at the top of the heap there just now. I didn't do that when the kids were babies. I didn't yeah. know how to do that. I was still learning that just as many of these people who are trying to learn online business. They're trying to learn business. They're getting coaches that are shit. They like reaching out to all sorts of people that aren't going to help them. Yeah. Don't do that anymore. Yeah. You need to the people that have done it for years, like me, right? Done it for years. Yeah. Lean in, get the right information and don't dilly dally anymore. Lean in, get the simple way. It's not easy. Simple is not easy yeah right the same with um how should we to put it like this maybe you've got some mothers that look after you I look after them as well um I chose to only breastfeed my kids never took a bottle ever um simple is simple I breastfeed them all night all day all the time or whenever four years straight right I did it simple is simple it's not easy yeah right but there wasn't another way. It was simple. Same with my online business. Every day, every day, on board, on board, yeah. on board, on board, on board. Get the clients in. Make sure you look after them as you would your babies. Same yeah. thing. Simple is not easy. At the moment, we've got easy, complicated. The world is complicated, right? And easy is sitting on the couch, but you ain't getting nowhere. <laughs> yeah, 100%. That, that short-term gain, you know, and then end up with a long-term pain as we've all heard it. Well, we're not doing that. In Kathy's world, in my world, this is what we're doing. We are exponentially growing. I've never yeah. seen anything like it at the moment. So get on to us both. Um, Kathy's links will be below. Um, here's the thing is that you don't need to be perfect. No one is perfect. I was a yeah. little bit late for Kathy today. She doesn't mind. It's okay. Life's happening, right? Yeah, totally. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> the good people are there for you. The ones that are offended or not quite right, then they can just drop away, drop away, yeah. drop away, drop away. You've got to lean into the good people. Um, there's not many as I can see it at the moment so make sure you actually do that make sure you actually understand 
what it is that, that you are in fact doing. Coaching's um, having a revolution at the moment. Um, I'm yet to talk about it publicly, but I'm noticing this after 30 years and it's not what you think. So I'm about to launch a whole new way in terms of coaching so that you get some um, action out of the, out of the gates. It's not, it's not you. Uh, do you need to shift and change? Mindset's everything. So, you know, you can do that in a heartbeat. Strategy, very important. But what worked even three months ago is not working now. <laughs> so there's a whole new stuff that's about to move forward with all of that. Kathy, can you speak to people that are listening here and watching about, um, you know, maybe they're not 20 years of age anymore. Can you speak <laughs> to those people that are going, oh, this is so confusing and hard and whatever, or I don't like Facebook, I don't like LinkedIn, none of us do, but it's a tool. Yeah. Can you yeah. speak to them a little bit about being encouraging of just keep watching our stuff and loving us up? Like I'm not five minutes old either. Like yeah. can you speak a little bit to that? Me neither. I'm not five minutes old either, hun. So <laughs> I think the great thing about, you know, um, especially in these times, you know, we've got a lot of experience behind us. We've done a lot of things. We're trying a lot of things. And, you know, any time that we're wanting to move forward in our lives, you know, sometimes it can really, I'm going to use the word overwhelm for the, for the lack of a better word, but we feel so overwhelmed and because there's so much noise, there's so many pieces to the puzzle. Um it's like anything new, you know, there's going to be lots of different pieces. But I, if I could really just encourage you that if you're at a point now and you're looking to build your business online and work with this incredible woman such as Linda, you know, I really encourage you just to keep it really simple. I, I call it becoming, um, you know, becoming just putting your blinkers on, just really putting your blinkers on, like strategically um, just blocking things out because when we've got so many pieces of the puzzle it can get really noisy and we actually create the overwhelm because we get confused and then we um, we feel uncertain and then we procrastinate very, and then we're very, very conscientious yes. very conscientious we feel definitely we feel out of control right we just feel out of control so if we just block out the noise and just say okay mm. what's the next step What's just the next step and learn what you need to know as you need to know it. You don't need to wait for all the lights to be green before you leave the house, right? <laughs> if you do that, you'll never leave home. Can't leave so it's home so anyway. important to take one baby step, one baby step. And if you don't know how, say, Linda, Linda, what do I do next, right? And she will guide you that next step. So it's a beautiful thing about having a coach and Linda like, like her in your life is that she has she has the way she's been before you and you get to stand on the shoulder of, of this gorgeous soul and giant that has been there before you that can really lead you to your success as well. So keep it simple. Six inches between our ears. That's what <laughs> complicates it. <gasps> Hydrate. <laughs> <laughs> hydrate. Yeah. See if that yeah. works. Hydrate. Hydrate, chill. baby. <laughs> hydrate. Chill. See if that works your, with your brain. Thank you so much for saying yeah. that. This is so super delightful. <laughs> um, look, you know, no one was a bigger weirdo than me when I went online. I didn't even know how to do online banking. Like you guys at least yeah. had iPhones for 10 years. I didn't have any <laughs> of that. I had nothing, right? <laughs> and I created multi-million dollar business on my yeah. own, right? Yes. So I'm not even special. All I did was made the client the most important thing and yeah. did what I said to you today. I asked dumb questions to great people right? That's us. <laughs> right? Yeah, I probably absolutely. still do. I probably yes, still do. Absolutely. <laughs> Ask dumb questions to great yeah. people. But guess what? They were the real deal. And a lot of people are just not. They're just not. Yeah. So keep on asking us the questions. Lean on in. It's a beautiful place when you can 
create the lifestyle and the environment they're actually wanting to create. But real, be real about that. Like, I don't mind if you want to make a hundred million dollars or one hundred thousand yeah. yeah. dollars. I don't mind. It doesn't bother me. Yes, but it's really good when we know, you know, what mm -hmm. the thing is. And um, yeah. most people don't even ask for, you know, a coffee. Well, yeah, right. Yeah, so hundred percent. Yeah. That's it, Linda. I think that's the really biggest thing because I don't know about you, but I remember early parts of my entrepreneurial journey, I felt like I had to do it all by myself. Like I was this adult now and I'm independent. But what I realized is that we're actually interdependent. We really need each other. You know, I always say one and one makes 11, not two. So especially not sitting there and suffering in your silence, mm -hmm. right? You've got people to reach out to and, and just believe in your, just believe in yourself enough, you know, know that and you are right worthy people. enough to yeah. ask. So, yeah, and 100% and ask the right people because I've asked yeah. a lot of people, can you help me? And it's been um, crickets and silence. Oh, ask absolutely. The right, people. the right people will help you. So, yeah. you know, Kathy and I at the moment will help each other we get it right but a lot of people just go well why would you need help you're so established not true at all uh we might be at some levels uh i gotta say that someone needs to do my vacuuming right now <laughs> and we're still growing we need to stop <laughs> as i sit here but, but you know we we're, we're not we can't be good at everything right we can't yeah. be good at everything and um oprah said oprah is famous for saying you know, you can have it all, but you can't have it at once. So yeah. what do you want, you know, and, and absolutely go for that. But fortify yourself for the unknown future. The future is changing under your, under your feet right now, even if you don't realise it. It is literally, it's like that, what is it, magic carpet? It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> right? yeah. It's changing so quickly and most people don't, know that and unfortunately in our country in Australia here we've got nearly half the population doing it alone don't mm. right yeah. don't you're not alone so mm. you might be um unpartnered with one other you know an elderly parent and a, a young child of your own whatever but you're not alone you're with us right so don't yeah. do that that's massive, massive at the moment, especially when we've got these uh, changing worlds. That's just mm -hmm. in Australia. I'm sure the stats probably match across the Western mm -hmm. world. I, I'm not really sure. I am a sociologist, but I'm not mm -hmm. sure of the current stats. But these are things that are actually happening. You're not doing it alone. You're here. Things are changing, whether you like it or not, whether you've got some job security or not, which is no job security didn't happen 20 years ago it might have happened yeah. <laughs> it doesn't happen anymore so um we're here to actually help you with all of that so um i'm going to sign off here now underneath here kathy's um uh contact details will be available and do you want to sign off at all kathy now yeah, thanks, Linda. I just really want to say thank you so much for just an opportunity to share and, you know, just to really encourage, encourage you to um, dig deep, you know, really establish what is your why. Go seven layers deeper, really know what it is that you're here to create and who it is that you're wanting to care for and help for the highest good of all, you know, so everyone can win. And we're all here for a purpose. So let's yeah. start stepping up and, you know, really shine bright. 100%. I've never seen a, a good woman not, not to want to take care of anybody. So whether yeah. she has children or she is a daughter or she's a son, he is a son of anyone, yeah. whatever you want to call yourself, it's yeah. all good. <laughs> we don't mind. But the facts are... It doesn't really matter um, and you're not meant to know anyway until you start actually um, getting, you know, getting to the essence of, 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 of achieving and moving yeah. forward. We all want to move forward. That's the ultimate aim. Yeah, absolutely. So right place. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you so much, Linda. Oh, I really appreciate you. And, um, yeah, I wish you all the best. You too. Thank you. 
Thanks, Angel.